Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into a fiery online feud between media personality academics and hit-making producer ATL Jacob. And trust me, this one's got names like Future, Drake, and Lil Baby caught up in the drama. Let's break it all down. All right, it all kicked off on October 8th when ATL Jacob called out academics on X, formerly Twitter. ATL Jacob wasn't holding back. He said, Ack sounded a dumb as hell for claiming producers shouldn't have opinions. Jacob made it clear that producers are just as vital as the artists they work with, adding, what would rappers even rap on if producers decided to stop making beats? And he didn't stop there. He even threw in a shot at academics, saying, nigga got DJ in his name and talked the most shit. Academics wasn't staying silent either. He clapped back, telling Jacob to shut the fuck up and make some drums accusing him of backpedaling every time he gets checked. So at this point, it's not just a heated debate. It's full-on insults flying back and forth. Things really escalated when academics accused ATL Jacob of gossiping about major rappers during their interview for his Off The Record podcast. Here's the biggest part. The whole ass nigga. And by the way, Future, I wasn't even going to say this, but I'll say it now. The whole ass nigga going to tell me he wrote something. Well, I ain't going to say all the song. He said... He wrote some hooks for you. So now, ATL Jacob, we should clarify, and you should answer to this. Did you write for Future in any of these songs? Have you ever wrote a hook for him? Nigga, I sit back and listen to y'all just slime y'all niggas out. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I gave him this whole song. What? I ain't gonna lie. I wrote the whole song. Not Future Vandross. What? Man, I gave Future this whole song. Future was drunk. He was high in the studio. I just, I played the whole song. He just sung it over. Ain't no way. This is why these days, I tell y'all bitch ass niggas, send me the reference trap because when y'all act up, I need to display it. The nigga was acting like he was writing for Future. This is another thing that y'all get at Drake for. You have the producers acting like they're writing for the artist. I haven't slept since then. And by the way, Future, you can't even say shit because I didn't find a track that Zanny, whatever, like some nigga did write for you. So I used, this is when I was on my high horse saying Future is the greatest. He is the most, most creative. The producer came and said, nigga, I wrote for that nigga, man. What the fuck is you talking about? Nigga, I, nigga, nigga, I gave him this full song right here. I went, what? Academics claimed that Jacob spilled tea on rappers like Future, Lil Baby, and even Drake, saying that Future wasn't too happy about having Drake on their hit song, Wait For You. He also threw out some wild claims, like ATL Jacob, telling him Gunna was gonna die, and Rick Ross lives in the hood. Jacob wasn't having any of it, though. He fired back, offering Academics $250,000 in cash if he could prove he gossiped about any rapper's personal lives. But academics kept doubling down, calling Jacob a wannabe Metro Boomin and continuing to spill what he said were private conversations. This nigga came over here gossiping about future. <laughs> he came here gossip. Let me tell you this. Chat, go back. Every Hold on. Did it look, 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 play this. March 2023. I came on stream. This is over a year ago. Thames didn't didn't clear the sample. Look, just look at the headline. We got to read it. Thames didn't clear the sample for future, but Drake got involved and blessed it. How did I know that? ATL Jacob, the gossiping bitch that he is, was in my studio, moist as a motherfucker, sounded like he was Selena Powell's superhead. The nigga had two shots of Tito's. He told me that motherfucking gunna finna die. He told me Rick Ross live in the hood. Baby not like that. Future trying to like hold him on some points. And basically told me that they don't fuck with Drake. But they had to put Drake on the song. Shout out to motherfucking ATL Jacob. Because I love times like this. Nigga I'm not here to keep y'all fucking secrets. I'm not in y'all fucking industry. Fuck out of here. Nigga my, I owe it to the fans. So fuck out of here nigga. I couldn't wait for I couldn't wait for you to say some shit about me, nigga. I can't I couldn't wait. I was waiting. I was like, what is this bitch ass thing gonna address me that I could like just spill the beans? I couldn't wait. <laughs> so let, let, let's ask this question. If your bitch ass wasn't in my studio gossiping, go watch the interview. Everything I'm saying, you never said on the interview. So how did I get the info? 
I always say I protect my sources to the max until the source is trying to act like they're not. Yeah, just, you should just be quiet. You should just be quiet. You should just be quiet. Two years ago, DJ Academics claims claims that when Future was asking Thames to get the sample cleared, Thames allegedly said, fuck no. Where did I get that from? ATL Jacob, that's why I say you a bitch. Because you told me the story. I said it anonymously. I wasn't going to out you because I know you a bitch. Then you try to say a version of it and then Thames checked you and you backpedaled. That's why I think you a bitch. All that Atlanta shit come to Atlanta. Boy, I sent you an address for you to pull up to that you pulled up and saw me. Stop that dumb shit. You saw me in person. You could see me again. Shut your stupid ass up and go make some fucking drums. And then things reached a boiling point during Academics Rumble live stream. ATL Jacob actually called into the stream and they argued for over 10 minutes. Jacob even threatened to take the feud offline and fight in person. The tension was real. Academics didn't hold back either, calling Jacob a gossiping bitch. Yo. Nigga, why are you online told all that shit about me, nigga? Hey, man, what we doing? We fight or what? I fight. You know, I, I give you a fair one. We fight or what? What's up? Man, I don't respect you to do shit with you. So I now don't... you don't want to fight. Now you don't want to. I'll fight you fair and square. I swear to God, nigga, on my kids. I'll fight you fair and square. We, we can do a fair one. What's up? Oh, we can do that, too. I'm just All right, you. come on, win. I... Bro, I okay, bro, Nick. Hey, hey, I would. Hey, I would hey, send, hey, okay, I would cool. send you a jet to the clear point. Pussy, nigga. pussy, I'm not. A, I'm, I'm not no bitch. You can't fly me out. Come to Jersey like you came to Jersey, just like you did before, nigga. The same spot uh, we could squabble. What was popping? Uh, you want to get gangster because you're on live? No, uh, I'm not, I'm not even want to do that. No, I, I really want to explain. I ain't even trying to do. You the one. You the one say you want to squabble and, and like if, you, if we talk about this, bro. You been, bro, yeah, you been coming on. at me. This your third time coming at me. Fuck ass, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Get your... I, I for sure. Tell me what. Ain't nothing to tell me. If we ain't got them going to fight, ain't nothing to talk about. Fuck you talking about, nigga? Oh, you trying to get like Atlanta gangster? Fuck that one. Hey. Yo, the same way how you pulled up to my spot, if you want to squabble, nigga, because I'm, I'm, I'm just going... I'm telling you right now that we could have an understanding. Uh. Nigga, I don't fuck with you. And Look, also, AK. I'm going to slander you until whatever you claim you finna do, you're going to have to do. So, we... Okay. <laughs> Keep going, fuck. Nigga, I'm listening. Ah, damn, fuck, nigga. No, no, Look it, at your chance to speak. Keep going. It feels like he's just trying to troll. It's okay. All right. Well, then, until then, I'm gonna bring up your rape case and keep bringing it up, man. When well, you gonna get that shit settled? What they? Oh when no, you gonna no, pay no. that oh, girl you her alimony, it? man? Are you gonna talk about? All right, no, no. So when you gonna pay that girl her alimony? Alimony, sir. Do you know what alimony is? No, cause get what? No, 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 no. I'm asking. No, 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 no. Do you know what alimony when, is? You don't. No, cause I'm not a rapist. That got nothing to do with rape. Shit, I don't know that. You know that? I guess cause you're a rapist. Um, well, you probably would know it more than me because it looked like, I told you, you Future's pocket pussy. Future probably raped you or you did it to him. What's up? This nigga, what? Bro, uh, uh, yeah, this nigga, this, hey, uh, hey. no, nigga, no, nigga. Bro, you, you drunk. Get out of my line, nigga. Uh, if we ain't fighting, nigga, get out of my line. Nigga, I told you. Wait, hold on. We can set it up. You, you, you coming, keep talking about Oh, are you coming Jersey? through? Oh, wait, wait. The bro, same you way you go to the most wait, wait, nigga, nigga, nigga. Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Who want to go to the most police Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Nigga, you can come. 888, um, um, 888 Newark Avenue, Jersey City, New Jersey, 07301, uh, 306. Told you the whole address, all live in front of 25,000 people. What's up? I'm going to drop the Addy on live. Oh, no, 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 because we can get it in. What's popping? Newark. Uh, Nigga, you came there before. Like you came there before. You came there before. What's popping? All right, best. Say later. All right, so, so so what are we doing this? Or you you want to you want to text me when you're gonna be there? Shit, yeah. 
you'll be reached out to. If you don't, if, if you don't want to, if you want to be a bitch ass nigga and got there going your territory, all right, cool. Are you saying that? <laughs> hold on. Are you saying Future's never had any case where a girl has claimed battery or sexual assault on him? Yes or no? Bro, because, I don't know on. nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, nigga. Because this I is why. I don't know nothing on nothing, nigga. I'm talking about. What about yo, Drake? About... What about Drake? Yo, I'm asking you. No, no, no. Nothing, because nigga. don't, don't no. try to. It's a civil case. Nope. So, nope, never happened. Guess what? Never happened. We talking about. Wait, wait, wait. All right. So you say never happened. So, so if your case hold on. Wrong, nigga. Wait, wait. No, never no, no, happened. no, no. So let's put some money up on it. So I'm let's put money on. So let's put money up on future shit. Oh man. Now I'm calling this bitch ass nigga back. In reiterating that Jacob had trashed Future, Drake, and more behind the scenes. So where does this leave us? Well, the feud doesn't seem to be cooling down anytime soon. ATL Jacob's standing firm, and academics isn't backing down either. This beef is not just between them anymore. It's got Future, Drake, and Lil Baby all tangled up in it. Only time will tell if things stay online or escalate further. Let me know in the comments. Do you think producers like ATL Jacob deserve more respect in the industry? And do you think Ak crossed the line with his accusations? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more breakdowns of the biggest music industry drama. I'll see you next time on the Red Carpet Reup.